Hey guys, it's me, Jennifer Anderson, Superstar Director of Radiant Rockstars. It's Tuesday night, Rockstar Rally night, my favorite night of the week. We get to spend it with all of you. We've been talking about hairdos and good news and all of the great things happening in the world. And um, But tonight what's really on the agenda is I'm talking about recruiting. And last week, if you remember, Superstar Director Andrea Keen of Sensational Bosses talked all about recruiting and talked about the lifestyle of recruiting, which I thought was so good and it's incredible it's like super foundational to everything I'm going to talk about tonight so if you haven't seen that video or you weren't able to be on Rockstar Rally Live I recommend you go to YouTube and find it it's called Recruiting the Right Way um, that's what I titled it there and you can watch that because the lifestyle of recruiting you know having having sort of a vision in your life or walking through your life where you're constantly looking at who can I bring into this business with me? Um, that's the lifestyle of recruiting. The, the lifestyle is saying like, who can I offer it to? And, and basically always looking at every relationship person experience in your life through that lens of I'm a business owner and I want to bring you into my business. So in order to even be a great recruiter or be a great sponsor, that's really something that you have to do. You have to be what we call a lifestyle recruiter. You have to also share the lifestyle of Sensi to make people interested in being a part or doing what you do. And that's really foundational. But then once we get that down, then I get so many messages from people being like, okay, but what do I say? <laughs> or like, uh, but, but where do I start? Or like, how do I, how do I get this person off of the fence? Okay. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that tonight. Um, but I can't stress this enough. Lifestyle recruiting, everything Andrea talked about last week, foundational to what I'm going to talk about tonight. Okay. You got to get that part down. They really do go hand in hand. So let's talk about recruiting real quick. Recruiting is the number one income producing activity you can do in your business the number one income producing activity. And so if you've ever heard me talk or listened to a training or, or I've trained you in any way, shape or form, you, you're gonna hear me talk about income producing activities all the time. Essentially, these are the only things you should be doing in your business. You should only be doing income producing activities. And if you're like, what's the most important income producing activity? It's recruiting. It's the most important and the, the number one um, income producing activity. When I say income producing activity, I mean actions that you take in your business that bring you income, okay? That's exactly what I'm talking about. Recruiting is the number one thing you can do to grow your paycheck. You can sell Sensi all day long. You can party Sensi. You can party with Sensi all day long. You can get referrals and have Sensi Club. And these are incredibly important. And we're going to talk about that too, because we're not just a recruiting only business because those are salesy and spammy and weird. And those are actually called pyramid schemes. And that's not what we do. We sell real products for real people, right? But in, if you want to take your business to the next level and you want to increase your paycheck and you want to build a big business or you want to be a leader or you want to have some financial security, it's going to be in recruiting, okay? Number one income producing activity you can do for your business. When you recruit, you expand your opportunity for the following things. Wealth. Recruiting expands your opportunity for wealth. Okay. It expands your opportunity for influence. And when you, when you think about recruiting, I want you to think about potential influence that you have in people's lives. Because if you know anything about Sensi, you know that we're totally different from so many other companies in the world. And when you come into the fold of Sensi, you know, we, we have relationships with each other. We get to know each other. Like we know about each other's lives and we have the opportunity to influence others for good. And that's what you're doing when you're recruiting too. You're expanding your opportunity for influence. You're expanding your opportunity to be a force of good in someone's life. It's not just about wealth and paycheck and all of that. It really is about expanding your opportunity for influence. It's also about expanding your opportunity for generosity. Okay. I, I want you to look at recruiting this way, because if you look at recruiting this way, when you get scared to have a conversation or when you shy away from offering the opportunity to someone, you got to think about, I'm literally like not being generous right now. 
okay? When you're recruiting, you're being generous because you are offering people an opportunity to enhance their life, make more money, find stability, feel good about themselves, have something that's for them, help their personal growth. Like you're offering them this opportunity for that. You're, this is being generous with others. And when we don't share the opportunity, we're actually holding back that generosity. Seriously. And anyone who's been in the business for a while or who has recruited uh, you know, a good amount of people, all of you leaders, anyone who's a director and above, you understand what I'm talking about because you see how this business has affected people for good, right? And how sharing this opportunity has genuinely enhanced people's lives. And when we shy away from that or we get afraid or we decide for someone that this isn't for them, we are literally robbing them of opportunity. Um, recruiting expands your opportunity for blessing, blessing yourself and blessing other people. Recruiting expands your opportunity for leadership. Leadership. How many of you want to be a leader? Yeah, some of your hands went up. Guys, I didn't really want to be a leader until I found Sensi and then until I saw that like what was happening with leaders and Sensi and like what that looked like. I was like afraid of that a little bit, but I want to tell you that leadership can happen within your Sensi organization. You are a leader of your team. You are a leader in your business and being a leader it's not something you have to be afraid of. It's actually a really great opportunity for personal growth for yourself. But again, influence, blessing, generosity in the lives of others, okay? Recruiting expands your opportunity for growing your own skills. When you recruit, you're expanding your opportunity, personal growth for your coaching skills. Okay, you're developing your coaching skills, you're developing relationship skills, you're developing conversation skills. Do you see all of these ways that recruiting enhances your life and enhances your business and enhances the lives of those around you? Recruiting is a great idea. It's a great idea. It is the number one income producing activity, but as you can see, it's not just all about the money. In Sensi, we actually call this sponsoring because it's an ongoing relationship. But I want to make a differentiation between recruiting and sponsoring because I think they're two different actions. Recruiting is the action of like bringing someone into the business. And then once they've signed up, then sponsoring is like a whole different ball game. Does that make sense? I think they're totally different actions. So when someone says like, oh, sponsor new people, sponsor new people, we, we shouldn't be afraid of the word recruiting, okay? Don't be afraid of the word recruiting or the idea of recruiting. That is what we do. We're recruiting people into the business, but the difference in Sensi is that you're not just a recruiter, you're also a sponsor because it's an ongoing relationship that you have with your team members where you're there to mentor, coach, guide, cheerlead, just be in their corner, right? help them discover what they want from this business, help them discover how they can achieve the goals that they have for their own life. So are you bought in yet? Is recruiting a good idea for you? Sponsoring a good idea for you? Yes, it's for you, I promise. Even if you are afraid of recruiting or you think, I can't do that, or I don't want to lead a team, or I just want to sell Sensi. Recruiting expands your opportunity for so much good in your life and the life of others. It's not as scary as you think it is. So like Andrea talked about last week, it's so much about what you share with people on social media, sharing your journey, sharing your lifestyle with Sensi. And this is something that makes Sensi different from every other company in the world too, is that we really stress the importance of relationship building. And I do think that in, on some occasions, there will be a need for what I call like on the spot recruiting. Like you just recognize someone is like totally kick butt made for this. And you're like, hey, you should like, you should join Sensi, right? But those people are going to be very, very few and far between. And most of the people that you're ever going to bring into the business are going to be done through a relationship. 
relationships take time too, don't they? Relationships take time. So I want you to give yourself some time. Okay. Cut yourself some slack. Give yourself time to build and develop relationships. When you're doing this, you have to be building rapport and trust. Building rapport and trust with those around you. Someone I actually heard this in a sermon like two months ago. And I was like, oh my gosh. It also like applied to Sensi. But he said, trust is when words match your actions over time. And I was like, yep. People trust you when your words match your actions over time. It's not just words. It's not just actions. It's not just words and actions. It's words and actions over time. That's how trust is built. People will join you so much quicker and so much more readily when they trust you. Okay. People will come into this business and believe you when you say something like, you would be really great at this. When you tell someone that, if there's no trust, if there's no relationship, they just think you're blowing smoke. They're like, she don't know me. He don't know me. They don't know my life. He doesn't know if I'm good at this. She doesn't know like if I can sell something or not. They know you're just trying to recruit them. When you have trust and rapport, with your customers, with your hosts, even your friends, and even people who are watching you and you don't know it, those people are much more likely to actually join you if they've seen your words match your actions over time, okay? Take for example, there's even someone on this call tonight, Jen Hornby is here, Jen Hornby, I have been selling Sensi for a decade. Jen was my neighbor 10 years ago, right? Basically when I just started Sensi. She bought Sensi when we lived right next door to each other. But honestly, we, you know, I really didn't sell her any Sensi for the last nine years, okay? But come to find out, she'd been watching my journey this whole time. She knew I was still with Sensi. She knew I was still doing my thing. She trusted me and I had built rapport with her because my words matched my actions over time. So when she purchased Sensi and said, hey, I'm thinking about doing this because I want to add this to my life. She trusted anything I had to say about the business because my words matched my actions over time. Okay, you see how important that piece of the puzzle is? It is relationship. It's relationship. Um, when you build relationships with your customers, I think it's really, really, I'm so glad you joined too, Jen. Um, I think it's so important to plant seeds and planting seeds like, let's say you have a host who's rocking their party. You can just say something like, you're doing so good at this. Believe it or not, that's a seed planting. That's a seed planted. You are so great at that, or I loved how you got that cuss that I loved how you got your friend to buy the salt lamp warmer instead of a mini warmer. Okay. Something like that. If you have a host who's interested in increasing her host base so that she can get more free and half price stuff and she's helping it, helping make it happen. You want to start planting seeds in that relationship. Like you're doing a really great job. You're so great at this. You would be great at this. Those little, little phrases, basically you're, what you're doing is building confidence in that person so that when they do think about joining or when you do ask them to join or when you do have the conversation, their, their confidence is already built. Do you know, people don't join Sensi because more often than not, they're afraid. They're afraid of either their own skills, okay? Or they're afraid of what people will think of them. That's usually the biggest thing holding people back. How many of you were afraid of what someone thought of you when you joined Sensi? It's okay to be honest. Yep, look at, if you could see the gallery, literally like almost every person's hand is up here. I was afraid of what people thought of me when I joined Sensi. And I literally remember telling my husband, I was like, I don't wanna be like that direct sales lady. You know, the lady that like wears like a red jacket and like, Wears like nylons and heels and like pins. 
<laughs> she goes door to door. Like, I don't want to be that direct sales lady. Like I remember thinking that and I didn't want to do that. And that's why I was scared of joining Cincy at some point. Your customers are thinking the same thing. So if you are able to build confidence in them along the way, so that when it does come time to say yes or say no, makes a huge difference. Um, in all of this, you must be genuine though, friends. You must be genuine. You can't blow smoke and you can't just like pull things out of thin air to make sure you're complimenting someone or building confidence. You can't like give fake compliments or, or tell them things that really aren't true. You must be genuine and build genuine real relationships. Um, so honestly, two of my favorite conversation starters, cause I know you guys are like, what do you say? How do you start the conversation? Honestly, I'm going to tell you that your mo your best recruiting conversations are going to happen organically and they're going to happen because you've built trust and rapport and you've been sharing your journey over and over and over constantly when your words match your actions over time. And you're constantly sharing your journey and you're constantly sharing your products and you're constantly sharing how this business makes your life better or hi Colt, um, how Tuesday night rockstar rallies are fun for you or how, you know, anything you're constantly sharing about your sensi life. But two of my favorite conversation starters are the first one is, and you've heard me say this before, but it is so good. It's just, have you ever thought about doing what I do? Pretty simple. Have you ever thought about doing what I do? And then you need to let the conversation flow from there, okay? I am never gonna give you a script. Never, never, never in a million years. It's not because I'm lazy or I don't know what to say or I don't know how to recruit, but it's because recruiting and conversations need to be real and organic and natural. They should never be forced. They should never be scripted, just like any relationship in your life, okay? Have you ever thought about doing what I do? And then if someone just says no, here's what you do. You put that person in your back pocket and you move on, okay? You don't press it. You don't force the issue. You don't say like, oh, but blah, 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 blah. Oh, but but I really need someone to join my team so I can go on an incentive trip. No, gross. <laughs> That's not what we do. That's not what we do at all. You put that person in your back pocket and you revisit that in a few months. You continue building the relationship. You continue planting seeds. Every time you deliver their order or send them thank you mail, you put a join flyer in there. Or you say something like, hey, you know, you should just be making money on your own purchases, right? Okay, you plant those seeds over time and you revisit it another time. The second combo starter, um, and this is something that you can do with strangers to maybe start a, a relationship or, I. but it, I just ask often like, um, what do you do? What do you do? Because when you, and that's a very normal, natural human conversation, okay? There's nothing salesy or weird or spammy about that. You just, when you meet someone or you're having conversation with someone or you've met someone online at a party, whatever, what, what do you do? What do you do for a living? They're gonna tell you and then a very natural human reciprocal response is what do you do? And that, that opens the door and allows you to introduce them to your business. Does that make sense? Okay. You're very rarely going to have a conversation where you ask someone, what do you do? And they tell you, and they're not curious about what you do at all. <laughs> you, that's going to be very, very rare. But if that is, that's okay. Again, you don't force it. You don't push it. Just let things develop organically. Now, here's where you have to do a little bit of work. When someone says to you, what do you do? What's your response gonna be? This is where you need to get a little bit creative and you need to decide, what am I going to say? And I'm gonna be honest, even at this point in my business, I don't have like a blanket answer. And sometimes I change it up and sometimes I mix it up and I try and like 
read who I'm talking to or who I'm meeting. But if you say something like, I sell Sensi, that's probably not going to encourage any more questions and probably not going to be interesting to them to be like, okay, tell me about that. You know, they might say, what's that? Um, so you really want to consider what message you're sending when you tell it, when you tell people what you do. So when people ask me what I do for a living, I say, um, I say, oh, I, I work from home. I own a business and I mentor and coach people and teach them how to build their own business. Okay. Because that is exactly what I do <laughs> for a living. And if they ask me any more about it, I say, I'll say, oh yeah, well, you know, I'm with Scentsy. Have you heard of Scentsy? We're a fragrance company. And sometimes they're like, no. And I'm like, you know, those, I literally, I just break it down like real chill for them. And I'm like, you know, those pots, they have the light bulb inside, you put the wax in the top. I'm like, that's what we do. I just make it real simple. It doesn't have to be crazy. You don't have to be like, oh my gosh, we have diffusers and oils and warmers and wax and scent circles and car bars and car bar vent clips. And then we also have like body care and like laundry care and like cleaning products. And they're like, have you smelled Luna? It's so, so good. And like vanilla bean buttercream. But it, like, if you want black raspberry vanilla, we have that too. We also have man scents. Don't forget about the man, you know, like that's way too much. It's okay. They don't know that it's warmers. They don't know like the terms just be like, I literally say, I'm like, you know, the pots with the light bulb and you put the wax in it. That's what we do. And then they're like, oh, I know what that is. But that opens the door, right? That opens the door to start to have a conversation and build a relationship. So those are, those are my two go-to combo starters. Have you ever thought about doing what I do? And the second one is, and this is more with strangers and the someone I'm starting to build a relationship with is, what do you do? Okay. But then again, you have to question yourself and think about what are you going to say when people ask you what you do for a living? And maybe you have another job outside of Sensi that you're really proud of and passionate about. Rock on with that and share that with them too. And you can say, I'm a teacher or I'm a mom. I mean, what, like whatever your job is or I, I, I change oil for a living. I mean, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't know what your job is, but if you love it, share that with people. I do this, but then I also have this awesome side hustle where I coach and mentor people, you know, what, whatever you want to say and be authentic about your business. So those are some of the greatest ways to start recruiting conversations. My best tips, guys, honestly, let conversation naturally flow, build relationships organically, be incredibly genuine. And the last piece of the puzzle is um, when you are Oh, sorry. I just totally lost my train of thought because I like read the chat. I, I can't look at the chat box because then I get distracted and I forget what I'm, what I'm thinking in my brain. Um, when you <laughs> poop, it'll come back to me. It's all right. Um, oh, okay. When you're engaging in conversation and when you're talking to people about Sensi or about joining or you're trying to share with them the opportunity, look, we love this business. We love our company. We love our products. And it's so easy for us to like word vomit, just like I word vomited to you about like, what is Sensi, right? It's really easy for us to do that when we're recruiting too. Okay, you make 20% commission. And then like, as soon as you sell a thousand, you go up to 25. And then like any month you sell 2000 or more, you make 30% commission. And then you can make bonuses like 2% to 9%. And you could be like a lead consultant or a star, or, like a superstar, or, like a director. Then you could be like a star director, or, like a superstar director. I have one of those. Um, and then, you know, you could like bring people into the team. And then like, don't forget about the warmer of the month subscription. That's like a consultant. Per like this happens a lot. And it's very, very easy for us to do that because we love this company and we're obsessed. And yes, we totally want you to join our team. Totally, of course you do. So you wanna word vomit. My best tip that I can give you is only answer their questions and then stop. Whatever question they have, if they ask you, how much do I make? You're going to say you start out at 20% commission. And then as soon as you reach your first thousand, you get a permanent pay raise to 25% commission forever. And that's it. 
You're not gonna talk about the monthly sales award. You're not gonna talk about moving up the compensation plan and earning bonuses on top of that. Once they come into the business, then you can explain all those other things. They're already invested, okay? If they ask you, do I get a discount? How many people ask you that? You're not gonna go into about, <laughs> about like, yeah, you get a discount, but like it's this way and then like this way and then you can get like party rewards and you can like double dip and you can, right? You're just gonna say, you get, the, you get a discount in the form of commission. We're paid commission once a month. That's it, short and sweet, very simple, concise, precise answers, okay? Only answer their questions. Resist the temptation to go into more detail because when you do that, you overwhelm someone, okay? My second tip is, and this I learned from my husband many years ago, time kills all deals. Time kills all deals. If you have someone who's interested in joining Sensi or you have started a conversation with someone or you met them somewhere and talked about joining and I'm not kidding you, you don't get back within 24 to 48 hours at the most, they've already talked themselves out of joining. They've already come up with a million reasons why they can't make it work. You have to strike while the iron is hot because time kills all deals. You can't let a week go by. You can't let 10 days, you can't let two weeks. Now, if you're in the process of building relationship, that's different, that's not what I'm talking about. But if you're like actively recruiting someone, they're interested in joining, you've had conversations about how to get paid or, or how to sign up or you have time kills all deals, okay? Don't let time go by. 24 to 48 hours at the most, it's not too soon, I promise. At 48 hours, they've already thought about all the reasons they're too busy, all the reasons this is weird, all the reasons their friends will think they're crazy. They've already talked themselves out of it. Only answer their questions. Time kills all deals. Be your real, authentic, genuine self. Let your passion for our company and our product shine through. And I promise you, as your words match your actions over time and you build trust with your clients and your hosts and your friends and people who are watching you that you don't even know, people will start coming to you. People will start coming to you, okay? I'm not telling you that you don't have to go talk to people or, or share the opportunity with people, but people will start coming to you over time. Give yourself time and follow the rules, <laughs> the rules. You know the rules, time kills all deals. Be, be your real authentic self. So that's what I have for you tonight. I hope this was helpful. I hope that this um, gave you a reason to recruit and a reason to build and built your confidence a little bit in recruiting and having those conversations. Any questions about recruiting or what to say or what not to say? You can use the chat box. I think I think it might be safe to do the unmute and let me stop the recording real quick too. Bye YouTube.